Hey everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this flat vector style line art of a girl's face step by step using Inkscape and I will also explain all the steps so hope you find it useful. Let's get right into it. Okay, so before we start drawing, let's change some settings of this window. First go to file and document properties and remove this page border. I really don't like page borders because they are distracting. Okay, then go to view and make sure that zooming is set equal to 1 to 1. Okay, now most important thing, uh, this when scaling objects scale the stroke width by the same proportion make sure that you disable it because what it does is it changes the width of the stroke every time you change the size of your object actually i can show an example of this let's draw this circle now we can see its uh, stroke width is equal to 4 okay and Now this, if I enable this option and change the width, I mean size of this object, you can see here that the width of the stroke is also changing with the size, see. Okay, now this is something we really don't want to happen in a line art. So it's better if you just disable it. Now see if I change the size of the object stroke width remains same okay so let's begin now drawing uh, let's first draw a rectangle and make sure its width is set to 2 because 4 is too thick okay now i want to make its corners rounded so what i'm gonna do is you can see there is a circle at the right top corner of this uh, rectangle and see even if it's not there you can uh, get it by just clicking on this node tool and it will appear so just click on it and drag it down like this and you will get a nice capsule shape now to make this upper side flat what i'm gonna do is draw another rectangle over this then uh, press shift key on the keyboard and select both the objects and go to path and click on the difference so you can see now we have this shape which somewhat look like surface okay so now uh, let's zoom in uh, if i press the node tool you can see there are two nodes on the top corner of this object so i'm gonna just select them and add another node by pressing this so we can see now we have three equally distant nodes so what i'm gonna do is sell, uh, select the left two nodes and press ctrl key on the keyboard which makes sure that you move the nodes in straight line okay so press ctrl key and just drag them up like this all right so yeah next thing we will do is change the stroke color of this object because like dark black doesn't look very good so what i would do is just make it 70 percent gray okay now looking nice so next i will make her eyes just press ctrl key on the keyboard which ensures that your circle is a perfect circle so press ctrl key and draw a perfect circle like this and then fill it with 70% gray where is it uh, yeah this is 70% gray mm, now uh, press ctrl and shift key on the keyboard and just scale it down like this okay maybe even more okay to make her eyebrows first what i would do is select the bezier tool and draw a line and i would set it stroke width to two now you can see that the line is like a rectangle with flat corners on the both sides so 
to make them rounded what I'm gonna do is select this uh, round cap now you can see it's nice rounded line so now I will just keep it here because I'm gonna need it in the next steps so I will just click on it and duplicate and set uh, stroke to 70% gray all right so let's change it with all right now we have one eye ready now let's make her eyebrows okay now i want to make them uh, curved so what i would do is use this node tool click at the uh, any line click on the line and just drag it pull it up like this Okay, now this is definitely not symmetrical so to ensure the symmetry what I would do is I would just uh, drag a horizontal guide like this and I will click on the node uh, see now I can see the handles of both nodes so I will just make them perfectly vertical now it's symmetrical now i can delete this guide so i would just reduce its width mm, okay okay so i think that's looking nice so let's duplicate this line again and make a nose for her okay and I will just duplicate these uh, eyes. Now press Ctrl key on the keyboard and drag this duplicated object horizontally to the right. Okay, and then just mirror them. Now we we'll just select this. Uh, no, no, no. First, I will just duplicate this one of the eyebrows, which can be used as her face. Sorry, smile, just flip it and increase its width. Okay, so let's uh, rearrange them, I mean align them. So press shift key uh, on the keyboard and select this to like a face and the nose and center on the vertical axis then again repair it for her smile and I also want this to first I will just make them group so I can move them together and so shift key space then eyes and align them on vertical center okay I would just uh, her face is like too much white for her eyes so what I would do is press shift key on the keyboard and uh, drag in from any one of the any one side of this object and because of the shift key Inkscape skip would uh, reduce its width from both sides see so this one is fine and I will also reduce the uh, forehead height. Okay, and delete this. We don't need it anymore. Okay, let's make some ears for her. So what I would do is draw another circle, not circle. It's an ellipse, and fill it with white color. okay and then duplicate it press ctrl key on the keyboard and drag it horizontally towards right okay now to merge them i would first select the her face and press ctrl oh uh, sorry press shift key on the keyboard and select her ears 
year one year at a time so go to path and union now repeat this process of for another year keep this face selected press shift key on the keyboard select her ear and go to path and union okay now it's time to make her hair so select rectangle tool and draw a rectangle send it to the back background okay first let me adjust her bit send it to the background and adjust its uh, height so you you get enough space because we are going to remove this uh, corn uh, round shape from the bottom all right now draw another rectangle and Press shift key on the keyboard, select both the objects and go to path and difference. Okay, now it's looking nice. And now I want to make uh, her neck. So draw another rectangle. Send it to the background and align it vertically okay all right now draw another ellipse like this and i would increase its Sorry, I would reduce its opacity so I can see. Okay, first make sure you have selected fill, then reduce its opacity, and so I can see what's going on in the background. And, and rotate it. Make sure you get something, uh, shape something like this. Okay, now select this hair, duplicate them. Now select this uh, ellipse and go to path and intersection. Okay, now we can increase its opacity. See, now we have got some uh, nice shape uh, which represent her hair on the right side. So I will just press shift and control key and increase its width. Great. Now to make her shoulders and all. I mean I'm not gonna make her body so just shoulder part. So draw an ellipse. Send and okay. Align it with the face. Now send it to the background. Mm, this much is enough, and draw another rectangle over there. And just select both of them. Go to path and difference. Okay, now. I would draw a vertical line, press control key on the keyboard to make sure that you make line in a 90 degree. Okay, where is it? Okay, I would make another. Set it stroke to 2 and I would choose a lighter shade of grey, like 50%. And yeah, also uh, make it cap shape rounded. All right, and duplicate it again. Press Control key on the keyboard and drag it to the right. 
reduce its height and give it even lighter shade of gray or about 40 percent okay it's looking good now select both of the lines and duplicate again press ctrl key on the keyboard drag them to the right and flip horizontally all right now let's just duplicate this shape and again press ctrl and shift key on the keyboard so that it would ensure that we uh, change its dimensions uh, symmetrically now reduce its size okay now if i go and press on this node tool uh, you can see there are uh, okay wait what is happening okay you can see there are two nodes on the upper edge of this object so just press shift key on the keyboard select them wait select these two nodes and just delete okay now what we have is two corner nodes and this segment which doesn't have any node so now what we can do is we can get rid of it by pressing shift key on the keyboard selecting these two nodes and then pressing this delete segment between two nodes so see we have got rid of it now i would also give it a lighter shade of gray 60 percent no for 50 percent okay now just uh, duplicate it again and press ctrl and shift key on the keyboard and reduce its size okay and give it even lighter shade what about 30 no 20 okay 20 is fine next uh, use bezier tool again and just draw another line then use previous settings of two and round cap plus 40 um, percent gray and just drag it up like this Okay, now press Ctrl A and press 3. Okay, here is our final drawing of a flat vector girl. So, hope you like it. And don't forget to check other videos on my channel. They don't have my voice recording. Because this is the first time I've ever recorded my voice. And I was nervous. So... Hope you don't mind if I have made any mistakes. So have a nice day. See you next time.